Hey everybody, it's Mars, and I am going to do a first impressions video. I'm not going to necessarily do like the wear out, how it were, blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. Anyway, let's jump into it. Um, I'm not going to, I might not do updates. I'm just going to do how my first impression is. Not a review. Um, I am going to try CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation, which looks like this in medium beige. And it says it's got the lasting power of a primer, coverage and concealer, and blendability of a foundation in one, and it's shine free. So I am going to see. I'm kind of going on a foundation spree because I bought another one that I'm not too pleased with. Anyways not putting anything on just this so let's get to it so first thing is, is that it's affordable i think i got it for about anywhere between the seven to ten dollar range at walmart and it's got a pump which is fabulous and let's i don't know if you have to shake it i don't know if i kind of organized because I know somebody has mentioned that, that, shit, I dropped it. Oh, there you are. Okay. Sorry about that. And sorry about that too. <laughs> I think we're good enough dropping for the day. I have my cell phone positioned a certain way. Anyways, doesn't matter. First impressions. Okay. So let's see. I dropped it. I think I shook it up enough. Okay, and I have a huge zit right there. So this is in natural lighting. All right, it is pretty watery and, and I'm gonna do half my face. So let's go. Okay, so the pimple still looks pretty scary. Um, it's It was a very big pimple, and it's like an open pore, which it went into everything other than the pore, which is a good thing. Um, uh, you can definitely see the difference. Well, at least I can. I don't know if you guys can. But... I mean, look at this eye, and then look at that eye. I mean, granted, I still need concealer, but there's a big difference. Like, it evens out my skin. And it settles into the skin nicely. Doesn't feel sticky. And it really doesn't have a smell. So that's the difference. I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my entire face. I forgot to sponge this side. But... Yeah. So this is with one layer. Now I'm going to go over certain areas with a second layer and I will be back. And I keep dropping my phone, so hopefully my phone will work when I come back. <laughs> Very back. Okay, so this is the entire face. Um, I went under my eyes twice. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, on my lips, I have Tempt Seduction from CoverGirl. I don't know what kind of lipsticks these are, but I just bought it. So, you can still see my zit, but I mean, it was a monstrosity to begin with. So, what can you do? But overall, I think it's a pretty good foundation. Um, I didn't put any primer, any concealer. 
Um, it's just the foundation, and then I went over the top with some CoverGirl powder, and then I did like my blush or whatever and my eyeliner. But um, so yeah, I think it's pretty good. It doesn't seem because I'm an old lady. Um, I don't know if it's the powder. I guess I should have checked before, but I don't see that it's sinking into fine lines. The powder, however, does, so, side note. Um, but yeah, so I like it. I think it's good. Um, once again, this is my first impressions on the Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. So, color. Um, I'm got it a little lighter than my skin tone because I've had some bad luck <laughs> with foundations lately. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I, if you like first impressions, I have a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to be doing impressions on. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. I might do a review on it later to give you the update on how it lasted throughout the day, how it wears. But this is just a first impression on applying it and what it looks like on my face. But thanks for watching. Subscribe with the button down below if you'd like. And thanks for watching again for the 10 millionth time. Bye.